boy Frosty. Thank you for joining me for another episode of My Life, My Way, the podcast. I got something good for y'all tonight. Yeah. Swang hour. And make sure y'all stick around later on in the show because Snow Made Radio is coming up. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe if you never did before. The Swang Hour starts now. It's your boy Frosty. Thank y'all for joining me for another episode of the Swang Hour. As usual, I got y'all boy the Guru up in here. Yo, yo. Guru, what's that word? Hey. What's that word, a Guru? It's a lot going on. It's a whole lot going on. You heard about what went on with my man Jay, didn't you? With his wife. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, man, somebody ass- allegedly assaulted his wife, <laughs> saying the motherfucking lightweight done, you know, like he done pretended like he was bumping into her and did some little shit like that, but at the same time, groped her, and allegedly they saying he got his hands under her dress or some shit like that, you know what I mean? So it's some, that's a sexual assault charge on her, man. Yeah, somebody sexually assaulted her, like they saying. Hey, but how in the hell somebody get that close when paparazzi came that close? That's the only thing that tripped me out. Like, yeah, we're going to have to tighten up the security, man. We're going to have to get some new security over there because, man, if somebody got that close to be to getting all up on her like that, you know what I mean? Not this... You know, this is really what's going on. That's a motherfucker got too close. You know what and I mean? He wasn't around, but he still should have had her bodyguard. Yeah, that makes sense as well. But uh, all I'm saying is we're going to have to touch up the security. I, I'm just, we're yeah. going to have to touch up security over there. Cause that's, oh, all of them. Man, that's a little too close. If a motherfucker can get that close and potentially fake like he falling all into her and all that little shit whether it's for clickbait to try and get some other shit going on still you got that close so if he could get that close like that come on now yeah damn hope everything work out with that cause you know look they get to playing with yeah y'all know how I get we ain't on that you know what I mean and we ain't trying to get rid of back, back where he was in his mental state. Man, he he's trying to go all that. Y'all hear the music. Everything's sounding great. The new album coming out when I'm on it. The new Donda going to drop. We, we flowing right now. We don't need none of that. You know? Let's hope everything work out for that. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? What yeah. we talking about, Guru? Beef and hip hop. We right back at it. Flat out, we right back at it. Beef and hip hop. What we talking about? Which is, I think, man, it's all just to make that shit go loose, but you know, some of, some of the same weird. Started off with J Cole. He slid a little diss toward Kendrick. He apologized. Turn around, we got Drake. He started shooting shots at Kendrick Lamar. J Cole. Anybody that he could think of just shooting shots at everybody. Then apparently say something that done ruffled Rick Ross. Made Rick Ross respond in less than 24 hours. Letting you know he don't play like that. Got on him. Then now, here we go. Chris Brown got a diss record supposedly dissing Quavo. Then you got Drake making another diss record, but using verses from Snoop Dogg and Tupac at the same time. Like, what we talking about here? Do you think this AI shit is really cracking? What, 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 what we talking about here? Some, some, some ain't right. Man, some ain't right. I don't. I do not, and never have like that AI shit. Yeah, some ain't, some ain't, and I'm and I'm starting to, I'm start y'all y'all pissing me off because I'm about to get on my bullshit now because this is what I'm thinking. 
I think y'all motherfuckers trying to play with my intelligence. Is this some type of little scheme or a scam that y'all trying to do to get y'all numbers up? Is y'all talking amongst each other at night and then saying, look, check your DM. Then you go check the DM and, you, and I'm saying, oh, let's fake like we going to battle and stuff. Get the numbers yeah. up, get some momentum up. Come on, man. Everybody just coming out with a diss record now and I'm trying to wrap my head around this shit is it this time come on man come on is it this time or is it this time something ain't right I go on there and go shoot me man the disc record from Chris Brown to Quavo that was mean now we all know Chris Chris Brown could rap yeah we know Chris Brown could rap. And what's so crazy is... But Chris Brown diss song tore Quavo. That was mean. Hey, look. The diss song from Rick, Rick Ross to Drake was mean. No, what Rick Ross said. He was going. That was mean. Come on, man. You got to know right, the job. You got to BBL. He went at him and 1090 Jake. That white boy? <laughs> And he comical Yo. with his shit too, so you know it's a little bit of, you know what I mean, comedy into it. It's something ain't right here. I'm telling y'all. Hey, hey, remember I'm I said it. Remember, I, truth, remember I said it. Something ain't fucking right. Look, but he's telling the truth because I know if you eat, we all eat. That's what I'm telling you. I so think. why is he only eat? So you gonna order a pizza and I can't get a slice? I mean, you could go to the factor of okay we know Drake is the biggest thing running so we could just about know why people would go after him you got to cause he the top you know what I mean but I'm saying a lot of this little quick back and forth and not everybody wanna get in on the where the fuck was y'all at when we was battle rapping y'all could have been doing this shit now it's like people wanna throw the AI shit up in there and then we don't know what it is like y'all and then they not speaking up like ain't nobody saying like yeah I put it out yeah this was up this is what I said I said what I said <clears throat> and here's another thing Kendrick Lamar you better hurry up and say something because in a minute we not gonna wanna hear what you got to say hey now just think about who Kendrick Lamar is I know, but I'm listen. What I'm saying, it's not gonna be relevant. It's not gonna be hot. By the time, yeah. by the time you done came out with your response, it, the the world is over it. You yeah. get what I'm saying? The, you know yeah. the people on to us that's that music lovers. It it probably still be dope, but I'm talking about like the internet. That shit have moved straight along. Nobody, but if you wait that long, people gonna be like, we don't care to hear it. We don't care yeah. to hear no response now. Is over, you know. You know, he, Kendrick Lamar is an MC. He ain't a rapper. Listen, everybody, everybody that's mentioned in this whole thing is all dope to me. I think they all dope. They, 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 they different. It's different flavors. It's me. different flavors. Correct. But it, but yeah. it, this is how it go. If you see. Somebody sending shots at you, you respond. Or if you trying to play the the biggie role, you know, I ain't gonna say nothing. You know, Pac was going that biggie, biggie just said, okay, I ain't gonna say nothing. Now if you want to take the biggie route and that's what you doing, but okay. You know what I mean? You know, so either you wanna take the biggie route or you wanna take the Pac battle rap route. Biggie didn't say nothing. Pac kept sending hella shots back and forth. He still ain't say nothing. Maybe Kendrick Lamar trying to do the, take the Biggie route. He don't want to say nothing. But even if not, what I'm trying to tell you is, if he continue to wait a little bit longer, and this boy still sending shots at your ass, by the time you say something, they not going to want to hear it. Didn't Biggie write who shot you? That had nothing to do with it. We all know who, who shot you. That ain't had nothing to do with who got, 
who shot you was um made way before the uh problem even started. That had he broke to do it. That all he did, all he all, all he did was capitalize off the record at that moment. Very simple. It's very simple. But you know, like I'm saying, he either he gonna have to respond now or, or just let it be. Or let it be. Or, like I said, is these is these motherfuckers like talking, pillow talking and shit to each other while they watching the whole internet go crazy and do all they shit, making it like this some type of big type of war or something. When y'all niggas still over here pillow talking and shit at night, oh yeah, say this tomorrow. We gonna do this tomorrow, then I'ma drop this and then you building up momentum for their albums to drop. Like, what is this shit? What is this a new form? Some I think somebody done found a new way to get the numbers up because they know controversy sell. This some type of fake ass. This ain't no damn rap beef rap. This ain't that. I, yep, I just wrapped my mind around it. I just got. I just got. I just got it. This shit is fake. It's marketing. This shit is marketing. This shit is fake. Yep. This shit fake. This is a motherfucking marketing scheme. That's what it is. Because they know controversy sell. So what they doing is somebody them found th thought of a way. Okay, this right here. You saw it with the drill rapping. With Lil Durk and them, they was doing this shit and the numbers was rising really, really fast because they was loving that shit. But yeah. now, friendly competition battle ain't talking about with no guns and no violence involved, just out rapping a motherfucker. That's what they doing. Somebody done figured, okay, let's do this to try and market and bump the numbers up. Yup. Y'all motherfuckers ain't gonna trick me. I got it. I got it. They bumping up the numbers. It's the it's the numbers game right now. Hey, cause you already know. It's the numbers game yeah. right now. Rap music numbers wasn't rising. And then, you know what I mean? That gets everybody mind off of Diddy anyway. You know what I mean? Yeah. It helps. Guru, it's a motherfucking yeah. marketing scheme. If, if it's beef, it's beef. If it ain't, it's just raising your motherfucking label. That's all. Just to make some money. Yeah, they talking. These niggas, yeah. Yeah, I think that's what it is. These bitch ass niggas is pillow talking with each other at night and then they come up with the scam for tomorrow for more and more content and then have everybody spreading it all around. Rap beef to rap beef, this person say this. And then here's the funny thing. If it is AI and somebody putting out these AI records, which they can do, Ain't nobody stepping up and saying, hey, I ain't say that. That ain't me. That's an AI or something. That's Cap. Or they just, so let, the they just let yeah. it ride. So that means that you condoning it because you know that the more and more you don't say nothing, the more <laughs> is more anticipated and it's more anticipation for the next person to have a response, then you can have another response and then you can keep the numbers going up and up and up. But see, here's the thing. If the other person didn't say nothing, it has to die really fast because a motherfucker not responding. You see how Rick Ross do? You see how he move? You say something about me, I'm on you. Boom. Yeah. It's like that. That's how you... You know what I mean? It was over. Yeah. I don't know. I think this... Like I said, they this a motherfucking scam. You see how they uh, tried to put his graduation in there? It's a scam, they man. They playing. It's a scam. Right, These soft-ass niggas ain't beefing for real. They not. Because they not even built like that. I'm telling you, this not happening. This not... No. It's too soft. Yeah, hey, it's too softly all done. Say, all I can say is we'll see. Yeah, we'll I want to see. I want to see. I want if it If it's real, do it for real, is what I'm saying. If they, Within this month to the beginning of the next month. Okay. Okay. We better have a response. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Now now tell me this. 
Next week starting off, ain't no response. What do you say? That's been over a month. It's, it's old now. It, it's old. It's not a thing now. Who cares? It, it's been over a month. And Kendrick still ain't saying shit. Man, this nigga done dropped about three, four records, man. Exactly. That's what he's doing. He putting his teeth in his motherfucking work. Like, man, fuck y'all. No. Listen. I'm not saying he not. We not talking about him talented as a rapper. No, that what nigga I'm saying mean. Is he's what he's I'm saying, saying that he is, I'm saying he proved that he ain't even on his level. Okay, man. Listen, listen to That's me. That's what I look at. Listen to me. Listen to me closely. Who the fuck is on Drake level? Drake is the bag. What? Who? 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 Man, Drake using other people raps and shit. Man, you, I'm, I don't care about none of that. We listen. What everybody think about him or whatever. We we talking about real life and numbers is what I'm talking got, about. He got Leo writing for him and shit. Not a problem. So did Beyonce and so did the rest of them. It's think, not. It's not about he, that. It's not about that. I think Chris Brown wrote the motherfucking diss rap. Okay, we ain't asking who wrote the <laughs> record. I'm saying numbers wise. Numbers wise. Numbers wise. They drink the hair stayed up. Okay, let me ask you this then. He get he played more wait than minute, uh Rick wait a minute, wait a minute. You think Rick Ross got more money than Drake? Is what you telling me. From what it looks like, uh Rick Ross got motherfucking Tyler Perry money down there. Listen to me. Listen to me closely. You know damn well And I I like Rick Ross music too Always did Rick Ross ain't got no motherfucking Drake money And he even know it He even know this hey, Now I'm we, not saying he ain't, I'm not saying he ain't got it too Cause he got it But he ain't got it like that Hey Rick Ross said it He ain't got it like that Since you got all this money Get your boy home out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Get your boy out of He said Birdman House has been in foreclosure and you know he trying to make like the cash money millionaire is broke. Yeah. Like you trying to make like you heard what he said. He said he's BG came home. Hot boy BG come home. Birdman ain't hit him off with that package. He's supposed to have mansions and cars and all that. That's what Rick Ross saying. You should have put yeah. him in the game after he done put his life on the line for the label. But he over there with Lil Boost. And he over here looking like he hungry. You yeah. know? I think yeah. that's kind of what he's saying. But he did yeah. say, <laughs> he, he did say if, if you got all that money like that, go and get that man houses out of foreclosure and all that. But you know that ain't that ain't got nothing to do with Drake. That's not Drake's responsibility. That's your man, though. I don't give a fuck if you, I th listen. Man, whatever. If I got what, the money, you getting out of that? Listen to me, man. Whatever deal went on, whatever currency was exchanged, Drake then more than enough paid Birdman and them back for whatever their contribution was. They been got put, that back in. They who put Drake on that back? I believe Wayne did. This ain't had nothing to even do with Birdman. With Bird, Wayne yeah. did. I think Wayne put that. Yeah. And Nick. They, uh, and and Nicky, Nicky Minaj. Minaj. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it was them three. Yeah, yeah, yeah I had to think about it. Like Wayne, that them was Wayne artists. Yeah, because Wayne, uh, Wayne and Nicki Minaj and Drake, those three was the hottest but ones he, coming up. But yeah, but let me explain how this works. So that's just an established clique that you can uh, become a family with to exploit you and help you put you out there to get your name popping harder. They be signed really to the major label, but in dealings with this label. So you... I mean, you've seen it happen. Nicki Minaj go on to get her a great, amazing deal and work that out, and so did Drake. But what I'm trying to explain to you is this. Whatever contribution Birdman and Cash Money and Young Money and all that did as far as helping their career, they was more than enough paid back by now. 
All the but, numbers Nicki Minaj put up and Drake did over the years, they done paid them back by now. I'm sure they don't owe them nothing. He don't owe that man to go get his houses out of foreclosure. I, I'm your. I, listen, that ain't his responsibility. So, so Birdman in the hole. Is I mean, allegedly, this what this what this what Rick Ross saying. He hurting. Lil, Lil Wayne didn't let Birdman alone. If what listen to me, if what Rick Ross is saying is true. Wayne is the one that hurt him. That put him in the hole then. Because remember. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wayne has sued him 150 mil. And he won. Yeah. So, 150 mil in the hole. But without Wayne, come on now. Without Wayne. He didn't, yeah, he didn't have any. no. He had no more artists and no more talent that could recoup them numbers to get it back up. So, so how many how many motherfucking records did he put out in one like one month? Man, I think I, what I think is I think Birdman was okay long as he was running that rich gang shit when he had like Rich Homie Quan and Young Thug. Yeah, these yeah, was two yeah. uh, young and up and coming artists that had shit on lock and they style and they flow. It was a change. It was different and people was flowing with it. Now, once he lost, I think I ain't trying to talk about nobody, but this is what we all can see. Rich Gang was the last time Birdman was getting money. You get what I'm saying? Ain't he ain't yeah. had nobody, ain't nobody putting up no numbers or nothing to help him recoup no numbers after that. That's why he needs to go and scout. And then why ain't hit him for 150? On top of that. And got it. So Ross kind of saying that's probably what put him in foreclosure. He hurting. He still right now. If that's true, I'm sure he banking on this new uh, cash money reunion because he gonna he need the money. That's probably what's making it take so long because he he if what Rick Ross is saying allegedly is all. I mean, this what he's saying. He hurt. Man, I can't wait to hear that DG now. You know. He hurting. I can't wait. I can't wait to hear that BG. Yeah, me too. That BG gonna be yeah. something dope. I, I've been banging BG since he first came out. Me hey. too. He, it's just my type of style. You know what I'm saying? I told you it's different flavors. That's, man, I love that type of style. That's, right. Everything he put out to me before. I'll be over there fishing. I'll bang <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, let's hope all this hip hop beef. Let's hope everybody worked this all out. Y'all heard what I said, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this. Do y'all think this is real? These records is real. Do you think it's AI, or do you agree with me uh, of saying? That this is something is fishy. This is a setup. Y'all leave us some comments below in the comment section. And me and the guru gonna keep on sliding. Hey, hit that like button and follow as well. Guru. NBA young boy. Oh man. <clears throat> they hitting everybody, ain't they? NBA young boy. They just threw a Rico on him. Got him. Got him Man. in the squad. Saying that they run in a prescription drug ring and amongst a lot of other charges, which this is some shit that they already was waiting and setting up. They they had this shit ready already. They trying to say allegedly he portraying himself as a doctor over the phone to be able to order these items and get the prescription drugs and the lean and all of this they I, they got him on weapons charges and you know they want to hit them with a rico now what you think guru you think they set him up they put him on no. house arrest he's restricted to his home and then they go get him i think what they did was okay we're gonna put him in a confined space 
while we go ahead and gather up all this type shit because he already was fighting the the fed charge already you get yeah. what i'm saying for the guns and shit from the other thing now yeah now you add drugs and prescription pills and lean and everything and on top of that like i said allegedly this is what they saying if you portraying a doctor and doing this shit that's a whole ass another charge that's you know identity theft fraud and all that of, of trying to be a doctor and you pulling it off they saying the reason that they allegedly knew it was him because of the way he talked his speech the feds went and matched it up and knew it was him what you think guru I think it's a conspiracy, man. <laughs> Listen, my brother. Is it me? Or is it a conspiracy, my brother? Listen, it's a conspiracy. <laughs> Not an A, B, or a D. It's a conspiracy. They running this Rico shit. They running it, man. They they taking this shit and running with it. They just Rico and everybody. Hey, you remember back in the day. That's like when Oprah gave everybody them cars. You get a car. You get a car. Here, you get a Rico. You get a Rico. You get a Rico. Hey, look. You remember back in the day in, in God when the motherfucking boys used to just be down the street. We spot them. Mm -hmm. They down there taking pictures and shit like that. Right. They, they not going motherfucking just give you a Rico for nothing. They got everything. They got it. That's what I'm saying. They... they that's exactly Man. what I'm saying. They put that boy, they set that boy up. They put him in that position, knowing they got him right there. This is the this is this is the prime example of the phrase "you a sitting duck." Yep. You get what I'm saying? That he was a sitting duck. Now you fuck. They put him on teller. He confined and restricted to his little mountain cave hideout. Can't go nowhere. Still making his music every day, dropping videos, doing everything. But they already building the case. You gotta realize he not out. He already out on this supervision because of a federal charge. But why ain't they smart about it, man? This shit is crazy. So it's like we are we let you out. On the federal charge, why? Did, see, people. A lot of people don't understand the federal case that he is fighting is still going on. He just out pending the trial. It's like it's not over. Like he didn't escape or none of that. But now, y'all done built something up on him, and then he fell into the pharmaceutical trap. Allegedly, if this was going on, I think the feds got him good this time. Man, I hope not, man. They got him. They ain't trying. Hey, I don't think the feds playing with nobody no more. They not playing. They not playing. Your ass going down. I just think there's some shit going on with the young boy case, too. I think they probably set that boy up. Like I said. They had him. He is sitting duck. They was able to get that case up, built it up, and then now he. Done, if, if this was going on with this little drug ring case and with the Rico, they got him. They got what they want. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody had wiretaps and everything. Everything, man. It's, it's probably a wife with his mouth and an ankle bracelet. <laughs> it I wouldn't be surprised. You know what I mean? And then you. You never know who people be telling and snitching and you don't yeah. know who done got caught and they sending in there to get the information and all that. It, it be motherfuckers that be close to you and they be setting you up. It be all a setup, man. They got that you young, young nigga good, man. They got him. See, a lot of these motherfuckers ain't never watched The Wire. They need to sit back and watch the whole episode, every season. I don't think they even, a motherfucker wouldn't even be able to relate to that because they, they own so much drugs. 
that it ain't even you can't even comprehend nothing like that to even see what's going on all i know is allegedly they saying they got them him young boy and his crew allegedly on a rico charge let's see how that play out hope it work out for him me and the guru gonna keep on moving y'all leave us some comments below in the comment section let us know what y'all think. Y'all think the feds, they they had him. He was a sitting duck, wasn't he? But it's your boy, Frosty. Y'all listening to the Swang Hour. Make sure y'all get out there and check out my album, Bags and Bullets, because it's out there right now being streamed on all major platforms. You can get it on iTunes, and you can also stream it on Spotify. While you at it, make sure you check out my album, Snowstorm. Same thing. You can get it on iTunes, and you can also stream it on Spotify. My new album, Revenue, is coming soon. Part two to my movie series, Money Race. It's coming. Trust me. Y'all listening to the Swang Hour? Me and the Guru gonna keep on swanking. Guru, g Depp, Former bad boy, g Depp, Special delivery. Special delivery. Look like G Depp out now. Feet to the pavement. Yeah. Feet to the pavement. He doing <laughs> interviews and all that already. You know what hey, I mean? Hey, I say that. 13, that year, 13 years in the joint. But people don't know G Depp, former bad boy artist. You know, out doing his street activities before he became a star. You know, and I guess he killed a man in the event of some of his robberies. Found out. Then now he became famous and it haunted him. It haunted his soul. So what he did was to get that up off him, he in turn going to turn himself in. Let them know he felt he think he killed somebody. And what do you know? He actually did. 13 years in the joint on that. He fresh out right now. Already doing his thing. What y'all think? Guru, what you think? Hey, I give him more applause. I give him more applause, man. You know. G Depp stepped up, got that up off his soul. You know what I mean? It was hard him. It was hurting him. He's successful. He making a lot of money. You know, his album, his, his singles and shit, number one. He was booming on Bad Boy at that time. Peak of your career. Hey. Peak of your career. You famous. You got all the money. You got everything. Your career on the incline. But you can't shake this feeling that you think you did something wrong. You go to the authorities and let them know you think you committed a murder. And they tell you, you know what? You did. Turn yourself you in. Know, you know why? Talk to me. You you tell me. He an actually human being, human man. Being. He got a soul. It was eating him alive. Exactly. Was eating him it's alive, like, Guru. He ain't, he ain't no monster. You know what I'm saying? Only a monster can kill somebody and just keep living on like fucking. I mean, to quote him, to, I, to, to quote him, he said that the reason he did it because he thinking, hey man, you know, I'm successful. I got a lot of money. My music career booming. I could take care of my kids and all that. But damn, what if that man had kids and all that and he was trying to be out here to support his kids and all that and not have took his life? You know what I mean? Took him away from that. It was eating him alive. He said that's what was eating him alive. G I give him a call. 13 man. years and he fresh out. Already doing interviews. Y'all go check him out everywhere. Get his little story if y'all want. Guru. What's up? Glorilla little fine young ass that got blinked. DUI charge. Yeah, buddy. Say the popo caught her little ass drunk. Dick. Speed. Busting U-turns. Busting U's. You know what I mean? Doing her thing out there. Living it up. Popo Blinker. She do let them know she had been drinking a little bit, but she ain't out of character. You know what I mean? 
and then proceeded uh, allegedly to ask the officers do y'all know who i am you know the lady officers tell her you know we do not you know but you going to jail what we talking about yeah. guru? <laughs> hey, what we talking about michael, guru? <laughs> you're not michael jackson you're not michael jackson no we do not but you're going to jail <laughs> <laughs> we'll be all right. Throw <laughs> this ticket in your ass. That's what you. <laughs> it's a lot of shit going on in hip hop, you know. Man, oh, we cut just... everything for everybody for a hot minute. You know what I mean? But it's your boy Frosty. You listening to my life, my way to podcast? This is the Swang Hour. Hope y'all enjoyed yourself. Guru, get us up out of here. As always, show love. Keep your head on the swivel. Swine. Ladies and gentlemen, you listen to My Life, My Way, the podcast. And this is Snow May Radio. You already know I give y'all nothing but snow made hit after hit after hit after hit. But here we go. You already know how it goes. I'm going to give you three snow made records. And I need you to get in the comment section and just comment your favorite one. Three songs. To get y'all started, I'm finna start you off. Let's go. Just to get me through the day Frosty ain't gon' make it Man, I figured that's what you were saying Niggas, they hate me Cause it ain't no stopping with this That boy moving too quick Now he a problem with this Living in Cleveland It seems you gotta come up Straight from the dirt And it's the closest people to you That's gon' hate on you first But I've been hated since birth So to me, that ain't nothing new The doctor, he told Face Hey, I would leave if I was you This game don't change but it's still in the transition Type of nigga that'll take a trip with a brick in my transmission I rep for every nigga on the clear with a bag of rocks And I ain't talking about the kind that's hand set in my watch My bed next to the block until I sleep with the fishes I'ma keep hitting the streets with some heat for you bitches I'm snow made, get it straight, it ain't no fucking with Frosty Be aware that I'ma get you the first minute you cross me Cause I'm S-N-O-W-M-A-D-E You know how we be H-U-S-T-L-I-N That's why every time you see me I'm on the grind S-N-O-W-M-A-D-E You know how we be I'm H-U-S-T-L-I-N That's why every time you see me I'm on the Every grind. thing a nigga drop Somebody hating it from the sideline Listen to my shit and try to follow the same guidelines Diamond encrusted, pin and yank in my chain Money stuffed in all pockets, piggy bank for the change And I don't speak what I heard, I only speak what I done So when I speak this hustling shit, know that I don't speak it for fun You niggas got me confused, cause I ain't never been friendly But I'm known to pop trunk and squeeze till everything empty Niggas bumping my music, cause I get cash like Ray I spend a bin, lay a slab, skirting off the PA You keep your mind on my money, just like you one of them broads If you a witness, you gon' tell them everybody involved See when you broke, you seem to have a a lot of time on your hands You waking up every morning thinking now's your chance Ain't no problem if it's hard But I prefer to get it soft Then I can do my thing with it Hit it once and get it off Cause I'm S-N-O-W-M-A-D-E You know how we be I'm H-U-S-T-L-I-N That's why every time you see me I'm on the grind S-N-O-W-M-A-D-E You know how we be I'm H-U-S-T-L-I-N
again, that's why every time you see me, I'm on Is it the haze of the drink? That's something I never could decipher. But I do know one thing, nobody can spit it to you nicer. Living in the city where your friends turn to rats. And when they see they can't survive, then your friends turn to crack. And if it don't move for you, then you better off without it. Or you be on the phone telling people, man, the county crowded. Do my thing on the low, I call that shit hush money. Cause you don't hear it, you don't see it, you don't know what's coming from me. Stick your nose in the air, then you can smell the aroma. The scent of we don't give a fuck on every block, every corner. It's no made or it's nothing. All my life I've been hustling. Keep my eyes on broke niggas cause they pop when they struggling. I'm taking trips out of state while you just sit back and wait for me to drop so you can copy every hit that I make. I whip it once, get it straight, cause now I go by the grams. And I ain't gotta say a word, you niggas know who I am. Cause I'm S N O W M A D E. You know how we be. I'm H U S T L I N. That's why every time you see me, I'm on the grind. S N O W M A D E. You know how we be. I'm H U S T L I N. That's why every time you see me, I'm on the grind. Ladies and gentlemen, that was song number one on the grind. I finally got the guru on the line in here. Got y'all boy guru up in here. Guru, what's happening? What's that Man? word, guru? What's that word? Slow Man, I'm radio. Here. Sitting back. Sitting hit back, hit. back. Guru, hit after hit. Snow made radio, hit after hit, boy. We already got know. him. What's going on with you? Oh, much, man. Sitting back and laughing. Listening to the Snow Made Records. You already know. That's what you be doing? You sit around yeah. and you wait to get on the line at Snow Made Radio so you can just talk your shit? That's what you do? I got something for y'all, ladies and gentlemen. It seems... I don't know if this was a suicide bomber or a, somebody that was making his way to protest or whatever but it seems Donald Trump trial has started and someone has set themselves on fire and killed themselves right out in front of the courthouse Guru how do you feel about that that's real life going on they blowing themselves up hey, that, that's his dumb ass I got another report of a, a, a similar situation apparently a girl couldn't get her lashes done her her lash tech couldn't get, fit her in so she blow her car up what? what's going on out here <laughs> what's going on with these fires guru i know at snow made we spit number fire but i'm saying let me know y'all leave me some comments below and guess what i'ma do i'ma hit y'all with track number two Busting out my sock, telling girl you do a thing Let the top down slow, bend the corner, switching lanes I let her speak freely, I ain't talking about myself Put her hand down my pants to analyze below the belt Fascinated by my grill, watch my lips with every word I think it's time to check into this room that I reserve She working up the nerve to do what's on her mind I told her pop you one of these and try to unwind We walking through the door, that's when I seen her clothes drop And about 20 minutes later she was on the tabletop That's when I told her left hand knee, right hand knee, girl get low and entertain me, left hand knee, right hand knee, girl get low and entertain me, I told you she a fool with it, I told you she a fool with it, hey man I told you she a fool with it, hey hey I 
tried to tell you she a fool with it. I told you she a fool with it. Hey man, I told you she a fool with it. Girl, you get low. I heard you like the strip. Well, if you do, then here's your chance. I like it when a chick dance freaky with her friends. Provocative ways touching each other with their hands. They looking for one night, so I'm adding to their plans. My earlobe jello stones on my way to Yellowstone. Thinking how a nigga about to run up into yellow bone. Two miles an hour, so everybody sees you. And if you ain't ballin', I'm here to tell you that you need to. I turn up the music, I gotta move into the beat. Pour myself another drink, hey, twist the switch of sweet. I'm a nigga you should meet. The game I spit is so official. Timberland butters get me in clubs with a pistol. She walked in my visual just to make sure that I seen her. Nice shape, pretty feet, say they call her ballerina. She whispered in my ear that she ain't had no panties on. Took it straight to a spot cause she ain't got no man at home. And then I told her left hand knee, right hand knee. Girl, get low and entertain me. Left hand knee, right hand knee. Girl, get low and entertain me. I told you she a fool with it. I told you she a fool with it. Hey, man, I told you she a fool with it. Hey, hey, I tried to tell you she a fool with it. I told you she a fool with it. Hey, man, I told you she a fool with it. Girl, you get low. Me to me. Greet them with number haze on my shirt. You can smell the scent strong like your bath and body works. Pulling up in something nice, that'll get them married time. With a pocket full of money, so they gon' respect my grind. I can make it feel good, but only if you let me. Listening to my music, it make them feel sexy. Come take a ride with me. I keep them in my lap. Kissing all on my chest, I'm about to run us off the map. Click, click, take a photograph. You don't even know the half. She gon' show the ass, cause that's something I'm for sure to grab. Styrofoam cup, crushed ice, and gray goose. With a twist of lime, give her time to get loose. Quick to show her stomach, cause she got a diamond in it. Anything I want, I buy, cause I ain't trying to rent it. I guess I should've never hit her off with that tablet. Cause man, her clothes started disappearing just like magic. And then I told her, left hand knee, right hand knee. Girl, get low and entertain me. Left hand knee, right hand knee. Girl, get low and entertain me. I told you she a fool with it. I told you she a fool with it. Hey, man, I told you she a fool with it. Hey, hey, I tried to tell you she a fool with it. I told you she a fool with it. Hey, man, I told you she a fool with it. Girl, you get low for me. You listening to Snow May Radio? That was song number two. Entertain me. Song number two. We got one more song to go. I got y'all boy yeah. Guru on the line. Yeah, that was he fucking fine up too. the airwaves. He fucking up the airwaves. Yeah. Nothing but fire. Snow May. Hit after hit. I got hit after hit. Trust me. Y'all wait around. We got song number three. Make sure y'all pick up my album Bags and Bullets because it's out there right now. It's being streamed on all major platforms. You can get it on iTunes and you can also stream it on Spotify. Make sure you check out my album The Snowstorm. Same thing. You can get it on iTunes and you can also stream it on Spotify. My album revenue is coming soon. Money Race, my movie series part two is coming soon. We got this content for y'all. Guru, what's on your mind? What's that word? Man, no man, just chilling. I heard about the drunk lady running into a, a birthday party for kids out there in Newport, Michigan. Killed two kids and injured others, man. That's wow. sad. Wow. Innocent kids' birthday party? Man. Intoxicated, drunk. What were we talking about here, Guru? She, what was it? Yeah. yeah, she was, she was intoxicated. Man. Ran through the building and injured, I think, six and killed siblings to a brother and a sister, man. Wow. This was, you know, they had the helicopter put most of them in the helicopter and those who they couldn't put in the helicopter they took them in their own cars and stuff man it was bad man shout out to the family rest in peace to the people who lost their life we send a shout out to the families hope everybody you know get themselves together on this is a sad situation you know people who can't get themselves together the alcohol and that drugs is fueling them 
You know what I mean? They can't get themselves together. Because at a kid's party, you shouldn't have been around nowhere driving like that in the first place. We all know that we party. You know, we have our vices. We do our little thing. You know, we swing, we dibble and dabble, whatever people do. That's your business. But we all know when it comes to the kids, it's a little bit of discretion that you use on that. Y'all listen to Snow Made Radio. And I hope y'all ready. I hope y'all ready. Because here we go. Song number three. They call me Frosty, the coldest nigga to ever spit game. Switch lanes with the top gone. You can see what I got on. Still trying to focus on my fresh bank statement. The reason these niggas flop is cause they just stay patient. I copy, cook it, and cut it. Package up and distribute. The purpose is flood the streets when money becomes the issue. Slide and I swing wide, especially in a big body. See me, I'm riding high until one of these chicks stop me. Now who can be this cocky? I'm sorry, your man is not me. I'm cut. From a different cloth and never let a nigga ball and block me a hustler and that's for certain I'm working my pack swift If he tell you he from Pepper, that nigga must get chips Let's ride Okay, she like that Okay, he like that Okay, they like me That boy, that he the coldest Okay, she like that Okay, he like that Okay, they like me That ain't that hard to notice Okay, she like that Okay, he like that Okay, they like me, yeah. that boy that he the coldest yeah. Okay, she like yeah. Okay, he like yeah. Okay, they like me, yeah. that ain't that hard to know yeah. yeah. First of all, everybody here ain't broke Just the niggas who sit back and watch they life go up and smoke I took a hay stick and then I'm puffing on the middle ten Straight to my connectors, nigga, I don't fuck with middle men Earlobe, jello diamonds, in your chain, I don't find them Standing on the sidelines, wishing I was trying to sign them S dot, M dot See me when I see the check Snow made nigga, you want a shot? Then come and be my guest Line them up to see me next Watch them fall like dominoes If you from the streets, nigga, you know how the drama goes Windows be tinted, so you can barely see in it Cause you can barely see out them A T don't come and reroute them, let's ride Okay, she like that Okay, he like that Okay, they like that yeah, that boy, that he the coldest man. Okay, she like that Okay, he like that Okay, they like that yeah, That ain't that hard to notice man. Okay, she like that Okay, he like that Okay, they like me, yeah, that boy that he the coldest yeah. Okay, she like me, yeah. okay, he like me yeah. Okay, they like me, yeah. that ain't that hard to notice yeah. Can play my shit through the streets, they gon' know every word Nigga ask shorty how quick I blew through a quarter bird Most these niggas want it just to say they got their hands on it Me, I'm chasing licks with stacks so tall that I can stand on it See a poor taste on the curtain for what I lost And this haze smoke blow out my nose like a dude exhaust I ride, ain't nothing to it, red Lights, I'm blowing through it. Sometimes I just be gone. Start phone cup full of fluids. Who knew it? That nigga Frosty do all the shit that he said. Put money on niggas' books with enough to put on your head. I done read the Bible twice in a joint on silent nights. Grew up the body type, so I live the body life. That's right. Okay, she like that. Okay, he like that. Okay, they like that. Man, that boy, that he the coldest. Okay, she like that. Okay, he like that. Okay, they like that. Man, that ain't that hard to notice. Okay, she like that. Okay, he like that. Okay, they like that. Man, that boy, that he the coldest. Okay, she like that. Okay, he like that. Okay, they like that. Man, that ain't that hard to notice. No made hits after hit after hit. All we need you to do, head to the comment section 
and just comment your favorite song. We gave y'all song number one, On the Grind. Song number two, Entertain Me. And song number three, He the Coldest. Thank y'all for joining me for another episode of Snowmade Radio. I'm gone.